welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and it's been a while since I've posted as usual, but as you can see, my background and surroundings are just a little different, um, actually a lot different. Um, this past weekend, Alex and I officially moved out of our hometown that we have lived in all of our lives. We officially moved out of Kenosha and we are so happy. We moved on the 22nd, so it's almost been a week. Tomorrow will be a week um, since we've been here. Things have been great. Um, Sadie is transitioning so well. She loves her new apartment. A really good fresh start. Um, we're finally moving into our next chapter of life that we've been wanting to do for so long. Um, but things just kept putting us back and, you know, we kept going backwards instead of forward. And it wasn't even really like, don't say this in like a, oh, like, look at, you know, look at me. I don't struggle because I do. Everybody does. Um, money wasn't ever an issue. It was everything else. And honestly, I think I would have rather had money be an issue because you can work towards more money slowly. These other things were just kind of like getting in the way and it, it was almost harder, if that makes sense. Like if you knew the situation, you would know it's, it wasn't easy to finally move out of Kenosha, move far away, not far away, but we're further away from all of our family, um, except for my sister and her husband. They live here. They live about five minutes away. Um, they live in the town next to us, which I'm so excited about because, um, honestly, I haven't talked in so long. Um, there's so many things to say, but, um, she also has a puppy named Luna, um, which is Sadie's cousin. So we're trying to get them a little closer. So I'm really excited. We went on a walk the other day and it was just so much fun. It was like one of the best days we've had in a long time because like spring is like non-existent right now. It feels like winter still and it's at the end of April. But yeah, there's so many, I'm sorry if I'm rambling. There's so many things to update you guys on and I'm just so excited to talk. Just that we're finally here. We're finally going on to this next chapter in our life. Hopefully the next chapter is a house. Um, hopefully we can get that going. Things are a little, the market to buy a house right now isn't the greatest. Um, we could have missed our chance in, in 2020 or whatever. But um, yeah, we're also picky and we don't just want to move anywhere. And we knew we didn't want to live in Kenosha. That's why we didn't buy a house there. <laughs> so um, so we're hoping this apartment isn't forever. Well, I mean, it won't be forever, but we're hoping it's not as long as our last one. We were there about three and a half years. I will do a full on new apartment tour. Um, I think I'll make, I'll make that a separate video because I'm just kinda, it's still a mess. <laughs> Not everything is together. I was, um, I technically did do a unfurnished one. It's not the greatest. Like, I don't think it's really YouTube material, <laughs> but I could post it if you guys want. It's like our first week here. So, um, not everything is together. I will say the first night me and my mom knocked so much out. I mean, like it looked like we had moved like days ago and we had just moved that morning. We got so much done and it was so good. Like, I just like, I hate clutter. I hate just Oh, I hate just stuff sitting in boxes. Like I still have stuff sitting in boxes because I don't have a dresser. <laughs> um, so a lot of our clothes are like still in boxes and stuff and we still have like random stuff. And uh, I wanna get rid of that before I do a full on apartment tour. But yeah, so if you guys wanna see that, let me know. Sorry if I'm kind of like going out of order or it's like random, you're like, what are you talking about? There's so much to say. The one that happened yesterday, uh, didn't think I'd be filming this today because I'm still like a little shaken up, I'm still a little sore. I'm fine. I'm alive. Nothing's broken. But yesterday, Alex and I, well, Alex has been in a few little like little situations, but nothing I think this bad, I would say. Well, I don't know. Let's just say this was my first car accident. No, I wasn't driving. I was the passenger. Alex was driving. 
Um, I can see my neighbors across from me looking at me, so that's lovely. So yesterday we were driving to go get dinner, um, and it was a little like, it was like 10 minutes away from us. We were turning, it's kind of hard to say because again, I wasn't really fully paying attention, but I know as much as I know now after what happened. Um, we were turning and we were in the middle road of, th in the middle lane of three. And this guy thought he was like pulling out of like the driveway where like all the stores and the food were. Um, he thought it'd be a great idea to literally floor his car to get to the furthest lane from where he was and he didn't see Alex and I. He was trying to skip over three lines instead of merging like he should have. Um, and Alex thankfully saw him and swerved a little bit, but he still hit him. Um, Alex swerved and it missed my door and hit the back door on my side, um, which that I'm grateful for as well, because just like Alex knows, um, <laughs> being my side did not make my anxiety any better. I could have been a lot more hurt. Alex could have been a lot more hurt. The car could have been even more damaged if Alex wouldn't have swerved out of the way. Um, and thankfully he hit the back end instead of my door and it still shook the car really bad. Like I, I was like fully out of my seat, even though I had a seatbelt on like one thing after another and it just kind of sucks and you know, it's life and things happen, but it doesn't mean that we can't be upset about it. I don't even know if I explained that fully, but the gist of it is we got in a car accident. They hit us it, and the guy admitted it was his fault, thankfully, um, cause it fully was. One step forward, 10 steps back. I feel like that happens a lot. And you know, this is exactly why I always say, don't judge, don't judge people. Don't judge a situation. Don't judge their fears. Don't judge their anxiety. Don't judge how they live. Just don't judge people. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what triggers them. You don't know what bothers them. You don't know what, like, you just don't know what people are going through and just be kind, like seriously be kind. Like, you know, don't judge somebody who doesn't have a super nice car. Don't judge somebody who doesn't have a super nice apartment or um, a job, like at just anything. Just don't judge people. You don't know what is going on in their lives. You don't know, maybe they were reaching towards that dream and they had a major setback like this. You know, it's like things happen, it's life and you may think it's never going to happen to you until it happens. And just know you're not alone, as I always say. You're not alone, you're not alone, you are not alone. I promise you. Um, I think I covered all of the new stuff. Um, basically, my new job, I start next week. Um, I'm really excited. I am their first employee. So, um, it's just freshly newing, um, it's just opening. It's a brand new building, brand new location of this certain place. I'm excited. I hope it works out for me. Yeah. So new job, new apartment, new experience, new car accident, <laughs> new fear unlocked. Um, no, it's always been a fear, but, uh, now fear became a reality. So yeah, I, I think I updated you guys on everything. Like I said, I'll do a apartment tour in a separate video because um, this video is already going to be longer than I'd like it to. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful Alex is okay. I'm grateful to be where I am in this season of life. Um, this was the chapter we have been looking forward to for a very long time and we're here. And oh, and I just turned 25. I'm old. I turned 25. I'm 25, so yeah, I turned 25 on April 20th, last Wednesday, so a lot has been going on. <laughs> a lot of new changes, a lot of new exciting things. We still have our wedding to look forward to in November. We're getting married in November. Um, we're super excited about that, and yeah, so I haven't really been able to focus on any wedding stuff, which kind of sucks because of, you know, trying to look for a new job, for a new apartment. Um, so now I'm hoping once things settle down and I get going on my new 
job that I can focus on wedding stuff. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a good update. Like I said, if you want to see a apartment tour, give this video a thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram. I post there all the time. I'm always on Instagram stories. Um, that's where I'm the most active, I would say. Um, I do have a Facebook page as well where you can follow along. Um, I will post that here as well. And yeah, I miss you guys so much. I missed you so much. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.